So was I right? I was right. You were right. I was right. You were right. With the uh, <laughs> the possibility of the new program. Okay, here are the 2020 Russian champions, the leaders heading into the free dance, Victoria Sinatsina and Nikita Katsalopov. Uh, this longer free dance is going to be a real test for Victoria today. While most of the Russian skaters here did catch COVID at one point or another, Victoria really suffered, as Carol mentioned earlier, suffered some lung damage and was hospitalized for a week. They began the year with a Michael Jackson themed free dance and then abandoned that and went back to the uh, songs my mother taught me free dance, which was very successful for them. Didn't compete at Russian nationals. They still didn't feel they were fit in us and, and Victoria's had problems with her knees as well. knee action through that section using the rhythm of the flow of the blade riding up and above that blade with your knee really can create almost a downhill feeling Preparation into that lift as they set up for a difficult entry. So a little bit of hand-in-hand -hand skating in the cross cuts, which we haven't seen from a lot of the other teams. Always trying to stay in some sort of dance hold as much as possible. Every so often you have to let it out to do things, but the judges appreciate the closed holds. Working to step away from the judges, something we haven't really seen much of. No, I think there's only been them and Piper and Paul that did that. Everybody else started on the other side of the ring. Beautiful skate for the reigning world silver medalist, the 2020 European champions. A reminder, had a two-point lead on Hubble and Donahue heading into this free dance. Very smooth all the way through. Yes, very nice skate for Victoria and Nikita.
when you think about this last flight of ice dancers and the overall tempo, what kind of a cassette tape make, mix would that be? Very subdued, you very know, and, subdued. You know, and very challenging to keep it not only going and turning forward, but nobody was allowed to make any mistakes. The no. subtlest little mistake of hands or jingle of your blade on yes. a turn. And so many of the mistakes in ice dance are things that you really, as a spectator, cannot see. The technical panel will pick them up, but, but just watching, you you often miss them. Yeah. Eyes closed. And Sorry, Humble go ahead. and Donahue in the lead right now. Piper Gillis Poporier right behind them. One thirty-three point zero two. So they will be the world champions for 2021. Hubble and Donahue will finish in second place and Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier after years and years uh, toiling and, and maybe not getting the respect they deserve, finally get it. Uh, world bronze medal, how does it feel? It feels amazing. I mean, how I feel can't be one millionth of how they feel. It, it must be just the best feeling in the world. And we will hear from the Canadians right after this. What a day of competition it has been in Stockholm, Sweden, host of the 2021 World Figure Skating Championships. In a year where they have been crowned national and European champions, you can now call them world champions. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov stand atop the podium in ice dance, the first Russian team to do so since 2009. Here they are with Scott Russell. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov, the new world champions. It's a personal best in Stockholm. Victoria, how happy are you about this championship? I'm so happy and uh, I want to work more, much more. On the way to the Olympic Games, Nikita, it's been a tremendously yes. difficult year for every skater. How thankful are you that they staged the World Championships safely and that this is the result for you? We are really thankful that this competition is, uh, uh, is done. It, 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 all the skaters could c come here and show what, uh, what they did in uh, such uh, hard times. So we're really thankful and uh, we're really excited about uh, how we did it uh, in here. Good luck at the Olympic Games and congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great job from the new world champions. Must be nice to be able to say that, eh? We're the new world champions. Okay, <laughs> your, your team now, Piper Gills and Paul Poirier, did you ever think this day was, was going to happen? Yes, because you have to believe. If you don't believe, then you may as well not bother. Um, my philosophy was always when we didn't do as well as we wanted, well, we have to work harder and we have to be better. And you just have to keep on. So everybody out there, if we can do it, you can do it. Uh -huh. Like, don't, don't give up. Don't say it's over. It's never over, ever. You haven't had a chance to speak with them yet. Uh, Scott Russell oh. has. Now let's uh, hear from Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. Let's go to Scott Russell. Scott? Well, it's a big personal best at the World Championships. And they wore Canadian colors, red and white. It was a Canadian song. Joni Mitchell's both sides now. They're the Canadian champions, and now they're the world bronze medalists. Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. Piper, why was it so important for you to do it this way? Um, I think we really needed to prove to the world that, you know, we're ready to be on the podium for the Olympics. And this was just another stepping stone that we had to accomplish along our way. Um, and we really just had to stay true to ourselves, enjoy the moment, and do Joni proud. Do Joni proud. I know you wanted to skate it at the World Championships in Montreal, but Paul, uh, emotionally, it must have been very important to do it here at the World Championships as the world came together uh, in this extraordinary year. Yeah, it's been such a strange year, and I think in yeah. a lot of ways, 
um, having this extra year has allowed us to dig even deeper into this program. I think we've been able to get even more emotion out of it, more feeling, and discover more about ourselves along the way as we've kind of done this program day in and day out for almost two years now. Normally we don't keep programs for this long and normally by the end of the season we're kind of tired of them and this yeah. is one of those pieces where we were, we kept being able to find more things to do more things to emote more things to share of ourselves and of what we've experienced. So I think we're so glad to have had this opportunity to do the program for another year and to compete it at the World Championships. I think it kind of got its last hurrah, the yeah. one that it deserved. Um, and I think we're now ready to move on to next season, really excited for um, what's next. Take a quick moment to say hi to your coach, Carol Lane. Hi, yeah. Hi, hi Carol. Carol. We miss you so much. We, we miss wish you, you were here. We love you. Look who we're coming home with. She told us that we couldn't come home without one of this or we couldn't skate at the rink. So we did it. We can come home. We can skate. <laughs> yeah, you can skate. And you made her proud and all Canadians proud. Congratulations, Piper and Paul. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> you said what? Uh, me? Would I say, <laughs> can you imagine me saying something? <laughs> I, I actually said, just remember everything I've told you for the last 10 years, 20 years in Paul's case, and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean for them now to be able to, to go to the Olympic Games with that world medal? Oh, it's, it's such a huge confidence booster. You know, nothing succeeds like success, and you just feel different about everything, I think, moving forward. You, you've looked at it for so long and thought you could do it, and now suddenly it's there, and it's like, yes, now I've got it, and I'm not letting it go. And, and now, uh, Piper said it right, this, the dance world has to take them, has to look at them differently. They just yes. have to. Uh, so what a great timing, great timing. Great timing for sure. Uh, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier with the bronze medal at the 2021 World Championships, Andy. Congratulations, Carol. That smile, I'm sure, will stay on for quite some time. Well, three of the four disciplines have their world champions, and Canada has their answer as far as the spots in those disciplines at the 2022 Beijing Olympics. Keegan Messing finishing in six, qualified two spots in the men's competition. Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marnar also with a sixth place, also qualify two spots in pairs. And yes, in ice dance, Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier getting on the podium with that bronze. And then Baudry Sword said the other ice dance pair from Canada finishing in eight. That combination gives Canada three spots in ice dance at the Beijing Olympics. And tomorrow, we'll have our answer when it comes to the women's competition. We're back at 1 p.m. right here on CBC Sports for more coverage of the 2021 World Figure Skating Championships from Stockholm, Sweden. It's exclusive coverage of the women's free. Be sure to join us then. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you tomorrow on Road to the Olympic Games.